Well, guys, it's Verdier back again for part three of our weirdness, wishlist, and what the fucks. I don't know if some of you guys are getting the wrong ideas about these videos. Uh, I don't know if some of you think I'm just dissing the car and all that. <laughs> well, you can take it that way if you like. Um, I started making these videos because I love this car. Uh, I, I, I really do. But there are complaints, and there are weirdness, and there are things that are just not well done, uh, or very strange ideas. Are they nitpicky? Absolutely. That's also, that's part of this. Part of the fun is critiquing. Uh, doesn't take away from the car, but, you know, if you if it really upsets you, you don't have to, you know, I, I, I don't mean to upset people. That's not my intention. My intention is to have a little bit of fun, discuss about things that we're just not too happy about on this car. Uh, and, you know, or some of the things we wish the car had. Uh, as I said, I've wanted people to, to let me know uh, if they have uh, any other ideas, uh, anything that they've seen um, that they want put in there. A few people have sent a couple of things, most of which I already have critiqued and have videos of, just haven't put them together. I've made the videos a bit on the shorter side. Um, people don't seem to like watching very long videos unless they really like to listen to me gab. Uh, wearing my hat of shame again. I had to come home early today, and my back is bothering me, and I was sleeping, and that's what my hair looks like. Yes, I look like a total moron. Uh, my back is still bothering me, but I'll have to be back to work tomorrow. I, I can't stay out of work forever. I got I to gotta get to work. So take it for what it is. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of critiquing. Uh, like I said, and and no car is without its faults, and there are a lot of little faults. And when and, and when you love a car as much as I love a car, and a, as much as a lot of us, and we have an, an and there's an entire forum discussing it, there can be a lot of people critiquing things that are just not quite what they wish they were. We love this car, but why does it do this? And that's exactly what this is. So take it for what it is. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy it. If you have opinions and ideas, please put them in the comments. You just don't like me, that's okay too. I have a feeling there's somebody who doesn't like me. They like to downvote me. Mm, it's okay. I'm not making any money off of this. I'm not making any fame. Uh, again, I uh, want to let you guys know you can reach me at verdier400 at gmail.com. Uh, if you have uh, your own videos or other ideas that, or stuff that you might want to showcase on my site and you're not, you, know, you don't feel comfortable doing your own, you don't want to put your face on the internet or whatever. Please feel free. Uh, contact me. I'm more than happy. Uh, you know, if you have a uh, insight site or a site where you discuss your insight and you want me to put you uh, as one of the places I go to, if I can figure out how to do it, um, I know I can show all of them. But I, don't, I have a lot of political sites, and I, I don't want to get into political discussions. That's not what this. This is not a political site. And the last thing in the world I need is to get into fights with people over politics. Come on, it's about a car. So, three minutes of me talking like a total moron here, boring the hell out of you. Let's get straight on to the weirdness, wish lists, and what the fucks. Now you guys are looking at the, at the chair. You see I got myself another um, seat cover. This one's a little better, a little smoother. I can, I can smooth it in a little better, but I'll work on that later. The reason I'm pulling this is I'm showing you, you get electric seats in the Touring. I'd be happy to have no electric seats. I could care less about electric seats, but you get them in the Touring. No lumbar support. Personally, I don't know why anybody wants a lumbar support. It's like getting someone shoving a fist in your back. But for heaven's sake, if you're going to give us an electric seat, and you're going to give us a weird seat, you know, that's pretty low and all that, give us some lumbar support. We really do need it. Please add it in, Honda. Kind of silly. Uh, I don't know if that's a what the fuck, but that's kind of weird. You gave them eyes, but they cannot see. Now here's something that's going to be kind of hard to see. You're going to see my fat face, which I'm trying to get out so you guys don't have to see it. This is the uh, anti-glare uh, auto dimming mirror. And it has little buttons underneath for my garage, which I really like. Uh, it works very well. But there's an oddness to this particular one that I've never seen in any of the other ones. And I don't think you can see it easily. We're going to get nice and close. You can see that little edging right down here. That's a little darker there and a little lighter there. You can see that there's an edge difference in color. From that point on, there is no auto dimming. 
It's only right in like the center area. It's like the edges don't have it. It's like they couldn't afford to put the money into getting the mirror. They said, you know, they sat there, the Honda people sat there and said, yes, uh, let's see. Uh, let's find the cheapest mirror we can put in there and charge the most possible. But let's make it so when they look in the back, they, yeah, everything's dimmed. But if they look at a certain angle, they'll be blinded. That will teach them. <laughs> this is a what the fuck to me. Uh, or weirdness. It could be either. It's a what the fuck because it annoys the heck out of me. I don't know why they can't get the, the, the coating or whatever they use to cover the entire mirror. My last mirror had that on my uh, little Prius. My little 2004 Prius had it. Uh, the same in my uh, Ford. Uh, this is the only one I've seen that's like it. It's a nice mirror. But what the fuck? Why, why is there no... Why is it not completely covered? Why, why is this whole edge area right here have no anti-dimming uh, uh, quant quant qualities? That's, that's stupid, guys. It's stupid. Uh, I mean, we could just change the mirror if we have to, but still, come on, Honda. That that that's kind of stupid. What the fuck? Another minor miss in this car, but significant only in perception. LED lights. They're cheap. They look better. They're brighter. People want LED, even if they're not the better choice. Let's be honest. You say LED and the consumer goes, huh? Yeah, cool. LED lights should be automatically on the inside of this car. All of them. Doesn't cost enough money, so much money that it's a big difference. To me, this is a what the fuck moment. This is stupid. It shows a kind of cheapness that makes no sense to me. These LEDs cost me $7. They work perfectly fine. They look great. Come on, Honda. This is this this is this is a kind of I don't know if it's a cheap mo mode or what. This is not cool. This you should you should uh, redo. LEDs. The next thing we're going to get into, again recently discussed, are the odd number of weird panel gaps on this car. Seems to be especially prevalent on the hoods of this car. But this car has a lot more panel gaps than, say, my Ford does, which I find very interesting. Uh, not a real big deal unless you're really staring at it or you're trying to resell it and someone says, well, dude, you've had an accident. No, I haven't had an accident. The car just has a lot of weird panel uh, alignment issues and panel gaps. So that's another oddity that I like to point out on the Honda. Again, I'm not getting many people responding to me on this. Um, a few people have, and a few people have seen it, but it is what it is, but it's something I wanted to add in and let you guys know about as one of the weirdness on this car. We touched on this on another video. Uh, mostly as a, uh, a complaint by another uh, forum user. We'll show you. You open this up and whammo! It just falls down full power. Now, yes, you could put a shock. Yes, it'll add a little bit of money to the car. And yes, it's a nitpick. That's exactly what it is. But I like it if it go down a little slower too, especially since mine is full. And it's not a huge uh, area to hold stuff. And it just whams down. And it would be nice if it had a small shock on it to, to, to let it go down a little slower. If for no other reason that uh, it just keeps stuff from flopping around inside there. Um, and, you know, other people find it, it, it seems kind of cheap. So we're going to put that as more of a wish list. Uh, I don't consider it a what the fuck. I consider it more of a wish list and, and kind of a weirdness that they didn't have it on there. But that's okay. As you can see down, we're back here where you lay your phone. Nice little mat. Very pretty. I use this little cold cord to charge my phone. This is not a major inconvenience, but it is an inconvenience and something that I wish that Honda had offered as a, an accessory. The lack of a wireless charger in here. This is an annoyance or quirk or weird. It seems so perfect that you could put a nice... Wireless charger, build it right into here. Yeah, sure, the battery is under here, but it could still build in here. 
and you could lay your phone in there and wirelessly charge it. You wouldn't have to plug it in for charging. I'm mean, sure many people will char plug it in for um, <clears throat> Android Auto and um, Apple Link or whatever the hell it's called. But some of us don't use Android Auto or Apple Link and want to just lay down our phones and charge them without having to plug it. This could have been offered as an option. I've actually, we popped this open, we actually stuck a wireless thing under here to see if we could get the signal through. I figured I'd take a pad, stick it under there, see <coughs> if I could wire it in, but it can't reach through the signal. And in fact, it has a lot of trouble reaching through this rubber pad here, uh, which pops off. But nice feature request, something that they should have put in here. Uh, and I don't see, think it's such a big deal. And if they want to differentiate from, say, the um, Honda uh, Cord, then offer it as an option uh, if you don't want to add it in automatically. But it should be available. That's down as a weirdness. Well, guys, that's the end of part three. Again, remember, yeah, there are nitpicks. Some of them are actually really good opinions and ideas, but uh, mostly nitpicks. Remember, it's all in fun. We're just trying to talk about the car that we love so much. And don't worry, eventually I'm going to make myself a video of why we love this car. Remember, uh, if you have any comments or anything, vertia400 at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to feature a video <clears throat> on my site, uh, or on my page, like it's a big page, uh, please feel free uh, to uh, you know contact me and we'll talk and we'll figure it out. Uh, if you have your own, uh, insight page and you'd like, uh, you know, maybe we could, uh, put links to each other's pages, uh, feel free to pop that, uh, you know, let me know and, uh, I'll see about how we do that. I mean, let's, let's build an entire community where we can talk about our insights, uh, and so forth. we got the forums. Uh, let's get the videos all together, uh, with everyone's opinions, different insights. Uh, again, all in fun. Take it with a grain of salt. Enjoy. And, uh, you know. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to get back in bed and put some heat on my back. Uh, and if I had lumbar support in the car, maybe I wouldn't have a bad back, but what are you going to do? Thank you guys very much uh, for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, any ideas, opinions, idea, uh, you know, other, other problems that you've uh, seen in the car, things that you really wish were in this car, go right ahead and uh, email me at verdia 400 gmailcom Take care, guys. And until next time, this is Verdier out.